I'm excited to go on this journey. I'm not even going to lie. It's like, I'm about to be healed, okay? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Ben Haney podcast. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always taking time um, to click this video, you know, to click the podcast and watch. This is a podcast that opens the door to unfiltered and relatable conversations about the unique life experiences that we have as millennials. So again, if you're new, you're welcome in today's episode i'm talking all about emotional triggers because i have been triggered okay i have been triggered and that's what this episode is going to be about so in this episode i'm talking about um emotional triggers and how to go about working on it or healing if you're in that phase because let me tell you emotional triggers is something that will have you reacting towards certain things in just the worst ways and the reason why i'm saying this is let me just say that i've come to realization that a lot of things very easily trigger me and that's actually where um this episode is coming from i realized over the past few weeks that a lot of things would just trigger me for no apparent reason sometimes i feel like well why are you so triggered about this or, or well why is this triggering you and i feel like a lot of people will relate sometimes someone says something to you um that isn't even so much of a big deal and you tend to react in a certain way that's like well that's such a big reaction to just what they said or to just what this person did you know and um, as a parent it can happen it can play in you know parenting as well sometimes my kid will do something um, and you know and I will react in a certain way and then in the moment I'm like well why did you react like that she's just a child and I was even talking about this on my vlog you know it's it's crazy for me to think about because I I haven't actually thought about the fact that emotional triggers was something like I've never I've never taken a second to think well this feeling is me being emotionally triggered you know and it came it was it, for me it was like a light bulb moment it's been like for like the past two weeks now that I've come to that realization that I know that things trigger me and I have a reaction to things that sometimes might be a little um, overly you know might be a little too much might be a little overreaction sometimes when you look at your reaction towards towards sending things you know for a fact that um, I definitely went overwhelmed okay I had a conversation I was having a conversation you know it was just a random conversation with a friend and um, it was just a very random conversation but something um, some the way the conversation was going and something in passing just legit triggered me um, and in the moment I started feeling like well you know what I don't think I want to continue this conversation again which is fine it's fair that I said that I didn't want to con continue the conversation again but also in a few minutes i started thinking to myself well why is just this conversation so triggering to you like why do you feel like this person is trying to attack you and that's one thing i've realized about emotional triggers sometimes or majority of the times you you feel like the person that you're doing the thing with or the thing that is triggering you is coming to attack you or is the thing is like out for you majority of the times that's i feel like majority of the times i'm on the fence majority of the times i'm ready to to like defend myself and I feel like a lot of us are always in that position um, because probably you've never had anybody defend you really really well whilst you were growing up um, in my case I pretty much was like I don't know like I have siblings you know but we didn't we all didn't like grow up together you know like my brother would grow up with my grandparents and I would grow up with my aunt and later I grew up with my mom and you know like you so I never really grew up with like the whole sibling set and I grew up with my cousins and you know so um for me I've always had to defend myself one way or the other and I lost my mom when I was 18 so I've always had to take care of myself I've always had to fight for myself but also 
I told you girls, it was one of like, I told you guys that um, I think it was one of the episodes that I said that I'm ready to hone into like my soft girl era and just my softer self and, you know, relax and not be um, always on the fence or always, you know, be defensive or like, you know, just always ready to fight that fight mode, fight or flight mode, if that's what they call it. And, um, you know, for me, I feel like it stems from having to always like fight for myself or like having to always defend myself or having to always like make I feel like I've always had to like put my points across two times harder than the regular person and that's just how I have felt like I've always felt like that ever since growing up also that makes me become very defensive sometimes you know it makes me become very defensive in the sense that I feel like well why don't you understand me like oh and and especially when I feel like someone is not understanding me I feel like well you're tr- you're just trying to come for me you know it's not like you're not understanding me you're just trying to not understand me and I, I want you to comment below if you ever feel like that but uh, um, over the past few weeks I have come to realize that it's just emotional triggers it's just little little things triggering me and um i feel like there are a lot of people who would be just like me out there whenever i go through like a certain phase in my life and it triggers me to record an episode it's because i feel like someone else might be going through that same thing you guys having emotional triggers it's not like it's a bad thing okay being defensive or being ready to fight for something that is yours or being ready to you know get your point across in a way that you know that people understand or in a way that you feel like people should understand you is not a bad thing but letting that Um, You know, letting things anger you, little, little things anger me or little, little things trigger me into a negative reaction is what I don't want to do. That's why I am going to be going on this journey of trying to heal myself from emotional triggers. And I feel like this podcast for me, I'm not going to lie, I say it every time, it's a way for me to be vulnerable and then it's also a way for me to literally do therapy. I'm not even going to lie. There is therapy and this podcast is also my way of therapy don't get me wrong there is literal therapy that I would go for if I want to but this podcast for me just sitting and talking about it is enough like it's therapy for me so now I did some research okay when I came to the realization that this is something for me or this is like emotional triggers or something for me I said you know what I have to work on this I'm not gonna grow up I, I said to myself I want to grow up to be the best version of myself I want to be you know grow up to be the best the healed version of myself the grown version of myself just the very best version of myself in every aspect of my life that I can possibly be and what I've come to learn or what I did learn is that someone can be very easily triggered um, due to very various factors due to various factors okay Um, it could be past traumas it could be unresolved emotional issues you know from relationships from family it could be a lot of things and it does does take quiet you know some some sort of work to be able to get this healing journey to go on but personally these are the sort of things that I'm going to be doing okay these are the steps that I am personally going to be going on to help myself heal to help myself become a better version to help myself just not be triggered by unnecessary things I would say for me the first step is to be aware I will always say this. I literally said that on my vlog. Um, like I feel like the first step is to be aware and just knowing that I'm emotionally triggered. It, it's it's such a stutter for me. Like immediately when it hit me, immediately when I said to myself, "Well, why do I feel emotionally triggered?" Just asking myself that question, it was like. I'm aware it's like I know it's like now I know and I'm like well how have I lived all my life up until now I mean I'm not so grown but how have I lived this whole time and it's only now that I'm realizing that things trigger me I guess I've always been defensive for no reason you know so now I know that things trigger me and now I know that 
some things are irrelevant and some things are not supposed to trigger me the way that they do so that's why i'm going on this journey so just starting off by being aware starting off the knowing of that emotions that coming um that's coming up just that knowing and sitting back and watching myself feeling that trigger it's the start so i would say that the first step is to be aware the first step is to you know be conscious um, of the times when you feel emotionally triggered ask yourself what is triggering me is this something that is supposed to be triggering me is this emotion correct at the correct time am i saying it right but you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um you it, it happens every time we have things that will trigger us family friends you know relationship everything around us could possibly be a trigger so the first step is start by being aware start by you know just start by being conscious of the times when you get emotionally triggered by things i I feel like i don't have any other word that replace consciousness but just be conscious of the times where you feel emotionally triggered and ask yourself am i supposed to be triggered by this and then you can move from there all right now the next thing that i'm gonna say is for sure for sure 100 percent seek therapy okay seek professional help if you're the type of person that can afford to see a professional go see a professional pay for therapy get that done okay like i'm not even kidding if you can afford therapy do therapy it helps a lot of people talk about how therapy has helped them heal um especially when it comes to childhood traumas emotional traumas past traumas a lot of people have um you know testimonies as to how therapy helped them to become a better versions of themselves or to become better versions of themselves so seek therapy if you can afford to do that um you know seek professional help for sure so the next thing that i'm gonna say is is just practicing mindfulness and you know just relaxation techniques anything that helps me to relax breathing um in the moment when you feel like something is triggering you trust me just i learned it from somewhere i think i was listening to a podcast i'm literally the queen of listening to podcast conversations so um they said that put your hands up like just place your your palm on your in your belly like that and then breathe just take three deep breaths it definitely does help it brings you like some sort of calmness and then it helps you to be able to like relax in the moment and you know assess the situation really quickly because sometimes in the moment you're not able to like you know you're typing or you're talking or you're doing this and your mind is like running so fast that you can't even think and bring things like two and two together so just taking just a little bit of time to breathe you know in the moment it really does help you to assess the situation it helps you to you know sometimes take a different route um a different approach if you would say um just so that you you're not always reacting or overreacting towards things okay so look practicing mindfulness for me is key especially if you deal with anxiety a lot like i'm almost always overwhelmed because I am always doing stuff like I'm always piling things on that I have to do. I'm just naturally not the type of person to be idle. With that also comes a lot of feeling like a lot of overwhelmness, you know, like just that feeling of being overwhelmed. It does happen a lot. Um, So I practice a lot of breathing breathing techniques it helps me a lot it helps me to calm down it helps me to find just that peace in the moment so i would advise definitely um practice breathing mindfulness techniques if you have to sit in the moment just anything that you have to do that calms you in the moment practice that do that a lot um and you know it, it really should be able to help um the next step that i'm going to be going on is communication okay i feel like um approaching communication just in a different way can help with emotional triggers because sometimes the way the communication is going or the way the conversation is going if you had just taken a different approach it would have just calmed everything down it would have just you know everybody would have just been cool calm then nobody would have been triggered so um sometimes it's hard to be the grown one sometimes it's hard to be the one to you know bring the communication into like a sensible place if i would say but 
for your own sanity for your own sake for your own peace of mind i would say that definitely um, learn how to communicate in a way that helps you to not be emotionally triggered if a communication is going a certain way if you can you know you can subtract yourself from that communication or you can take the con literally change the conversation just so that it doesn't trigger you i do it every time you know so i feel like communication definitely does help the way that you go about communicating the way that you go about expressing yourself in general can help you prevent a lot of things that will be triggering you you know so if you people know how to converse with you people know how to um, convey you know messages and informations to you because they know exactly how you receive information and you know how to pass information on in a way that doesn't trigger you you're good so um, I'm gonna be working on how I communicate with people generally I'm gonna be working on how I receive information I feel like that is also key sometimes you know sometimes information can be very different the person sending the information can be thinking a different thing and you receiving information can be thinking a different thing it happens every time that's why there's miscommunication so you always want to be in a place where you know you're just playing different scenarios in your head and making sure that you're not thinking something that someone is not thinking <laughs> you know so i will be learning how to you know express myself better and to receive messages um better from people just so that i'm not emotionally triggered every time okay now the next thing also is that i've realized that stress can be one big point that makes you emotionally triggered now i say this because as a parent sometimes when you're tired and you've done so many things around the house and you know you've had a long day um the little things that the kids will do you're like <gasps> you know if you're a parent you can relate i can relate if you've had a long day and the kids are just doing too much you're like oh we all know it so sometimes that stress or just that you know tiredness can make you um overreact towards certain things so you always want to find a way to manage your stress so me for me i know it sounds a little weird but i work out to manage stress sometimes okay it helps me to feel relaxed it helps me to feel like i'm spending time with myself or taking care of myself anything that allows me to take care of myself is a stress manager for me okay so you know listen to music um, watch a movie whatever you want to do anything that for you helps you to manage your stress um, talking to a friend journaling if that's what you want to do you know I don't know whatever you do that you feel like um, it relaxes you or that makes you be um, you know that, that just reduces the amount of stress that you have do that and you know just so you can be the best version of yourself because i'm not gonna lie if you're stressed you're never doing anything with a good mind like you're stressed you're tired so you're doing everything with like your last self and not your best self you know you're doing everything with what you have left so that's what i call your last self and not your best self so find a way that you can manage your stress take a cool shower you know make yourself some tea if that's that's what relaxes you you know anything that you do that relaxes you girl do that relax just so that you can show up as the best version of yourself i always say this okay now if you're the type of person that um requires some sort of support group then i'll say that build a support network okay um get yourself some friends if you have a friend or two that you trust you can have a conversation with them tell them how you feel tell them um you know your realizations what you've come across so far or things that trigger you sometimes talking to people or listening to shared experiences can always help you feel better and learn a thing or two i always say this every time um um, it will amaze you how just listening to somebody's experience can help you learn oh wow I could do that you know sometimes the person is not exactly advising you it's just sharing the experience and then you're like well I would love to try that I would love to do that because if it worked for you then it might work for me too so definitely share your experience with people build a support group if that's what you need to do and um, help yourself get better heal for yourself okay do whatever you got to do to heal is what I'm saying if you need friends if you need family if you need 
whatever you need to heal build that support group that you need and heal with them okay now my final point uh, which is what I was saying that you have to subtract yourself sometimes sometimes it's hard but you have to avoid situations like that situations that would trigger you or people that just tend to trigger you every time you get in contact with them hear me out there are people that every time you talk to you feel a certain way about yourself have you asked yourself why have you asked yourself like i used to have people like that that every time that you talk to they make you feel a certain way about yourself they will remind you about something that will trigger you or they will do something that will remind you of something that will trigger you it was always something or it's always somebody there's always somebody like that so you want to always avoid situations or people like that or conversations that just trigger you anything that triggers you avoid it up until you are able to build some sort of coping mechanism for it and that's exactly what i'm gonna do i am the type of person that i go all in whenever i'm doing anything i give my all to everything okay so it's very easy for things to like hit me and thing when things hit me they hit me hard so now what i'm doing is i'm gonna take two steps back on everything okay <laughs> like on everything so just generally avoid situations that makes you feel triggered anything or anybody that triggers you to a point where you you know you have a reaction or an overreaction you want to definitely avoid them up until you're able to find some sort of coping mechanism something that makes you feel like you know what bring it on I could be able to stand you and it's not going to bring me down and make you feel good you know what I'm saying so avoid any situation that makes you feel like that or anybody that makes you feel like that so you know how to not be triggered in the moment so you know how to take care of yourself and so you know how to be a big girl about things okay um, yeah, that is pretty much all the steps that I am gonna be going through So I just want to say that if you're there too, if you feel like me, it's a journey It will take some time But the knowing and just that intentionality of wanting to heal and become the best version of yourself That's what I'm here for. Okay, so um, On this episode it has been this I'm not gonna lie. This has been a therapeutic episode for me comment below um, if you if you have anything I don't know but just comment below if you feel like you are also easily triggered if there's anything that you feel like you know is in relation to this topic that you'd like us to talk about um, comment below also comment below if you have any topics that you feel like we should talk about this season is our season of growth and um, self-healing I keep saying that this season I'm healing myself I'm allowing myself to grow I'm allowing myself to learn and unlearn things it's okay um, to know that certain things are not good for you I have to let them go it's okay okay so this is that season for me and I'm hoping that you guys would join me on this journey of healing and just becoming the best the best versions of ourselves um, I hope you enjoyed this episode again if you have any questions any comments anything leave them down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please definitely hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you're notified every time i post a video okay and follow me on um, social media platforms my name is akusia benhini thank you so much for watching this episode i will see you guys on my next one bye <laughs>